shoes. We have a very interesting situation here. Yes. Please explain it to us. Okay. You're really, really, really going to love this one. Now, this is what we've been looking for a long time. Now, this is two or four. Two here of the uh, ball, which is made by the dung beetle. Yeah. The biggest dung beetle. Yeah. Now, the biggest that you see here, that means it's the biggest dung beetle that we have. Now, right there, that is an elephant dung. It's not fresh. This. As you can see, yes, it's very hard. Mm -hmm. So during the rain. So you can actually date back with the month when the rain and things like that. So probably maybe the last rain. The elephant came here, defecate there, and now that is the dung. And this guy came and rolled the ball. When they roll the ball. This is the dung beetle. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, when they roll the ball, and then they actually lay eggs inside. As you can see here, that's perfect. They lay, first they lay eggs on the dung yes. and then start rolling. Yes. And when they roll, the egg gets inside. Yes. And they went after when they finish and then they'll bounce. They'll roll the ball everywhere on the road there. Yeah. Go up and down, up and down. And when they do that, they put extra layer in the dung. As you can see, if you look at the, there's the dung. Yep. Right there. Yeah. And what you have on the top? Soil. It's soil. Almost to make like it, a hard outer core of mud. That's it. Yeah. So to protect the ball and the egg inside the egg will be inside there so the i mean the ball became the dung became more bigger yes and when they do that and they come in so now we're talking first yeah this one come yeah. in dig inside there as you can see it's very deep fairly deep normally they will choose termite which is this one here very yes. big not active termite yes but then they'll choose that and when they dig in they'll find a nice chamber right. of the termite and right. then they'll put in there right and then they close it again so the dung beetles actually bury these balls inside yes yes okay yeah and then the reason for that obviously the, the young when the young one hash it will actually first feed with that and then come out right. so when they bury it there is an egg there and then the egg will hash okay but the interesting point is they go inside there bury that one and come back and lay another and dig another i mean roll another ball yeah. and put it at the same spot right inside there and the reason they choose this is because as you can see inside there you see it's hollow so it's, yes you see it's much easier for them to actually and it's also very deep i mean yes. you can see i can stick my arm right inside there yes now what exactly happened here because we've got a hole yes in the ground as you can well see and we've got these dung balls that have basically been broken open so what happened here now the, uh, the honey badger walk came here after when those whole things, but before we get there, yeah. now the dung beetle, the reason that they choose the mount here is because the mount, it's more warm with this, which is made by salavia, more warm. So right. once they put it there, it's easier for the egg to be fertilized right. with that warm of the mount. Right. But anyway, after when the dung beetle done his business and the honey badger came at night, ju -ju 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 -ju, yeah, yeah. walking, walking, and he smelled that yeah. and he dig in dig in that's what you see here dig in and you find this and it start eating that cocoon of the dung beetle inside because it's more fat and rich in protein right and you eat that so that's what happened here so these eggs it never just hash it's a dung beetle it's a um, honey badger honey badger that digs this and eat all so basically the honey badger came along and using its sense of smell is yep. that right perfect realized that there are these dung beetle balls underground yes dug them up opened them up like we see over here yes. and then ate the larvae yes on the inside That's which it. is like a protein bomb for the for the honey badger it's mm -hmm. rich, rich in rich in uh, protein and all sorts of nutrients that's it amazing yeah and the honey badger as it's coming along even although this is closed it can actually smell that it's inside incredible smell incredible mm. smell they can actually smell deep in even in the uh, um, as well the the the, the uh, eggs for uh, monitor yes where they can dig probably deep in almost like half a meter honey badger can smell in and yeah. start digging yeah and take that like as you see amazing. here amazing yeah it just goes to show you how little we understand about how powerful the sense of smell is in animals that's it yeah. that's fantastic it. incredible awesome thank you shoes